Hey guys, Ultramaximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're going to take a look at a 30th Anniversary Generations figure. It's a two-pack Legends class, and it's Starscream and Waspinator. And very cool. I uh, got to pick this up $5 in Westerville, Ohio. And uh, I got that because, well, I had a coupon from Predacom's Rising for $5 off. So, great deal. Now, this is the first time we get to see Starscream and Waspinator together. They've got a few other packages. They've got Optimus Prime and Roller, which is cool to see Roller, an actual Transformer. And they make mention he's part of Optimus Prime, which is really cool. There's also Bumblebee and some little helicopter, um, Blaze Rotor or something, some character I've never heard of. And you also have Megatron and Chop Shop. Now, Chop Shop was a G1 Deluxe Insecticon that never actually made a show. So it's kind of cool that he comes back. Um, I do kind of like that. Now, uh, this, like I said, is a Legends set, so we'll take a look at this. This is a set that I'm actually not going to take out of the package, and I'll explain why uh, I don't intend to do that. So, But I just want to take a look at it, talk about the characters, talk about why it's so cool that they're together, and, uh, you know, take a look at the, uh, the packaging. So here's uh, some really cool imagery of Starscream and Waspinator up there. Uh, there we have them in the package. Starscream looking very... Uh, War for Cybertron, or uh, Fall of Cybertron-esque. And uh, we've got Waspinator there. We've got the really cool 30th anniversary logo with the Decepticon emblem. Of course, the names. This side, we've got its Series 2, uh, figure number 3. He's obviously a Decepticon. And then on this side, it just has their names. Now, the back of the package here, what it looks like, pretty cool. We've got the 30th anniversary logo again. Transformers with a Decepticon logo. We have... The bio, if you want to pause and read it, you're welcome to. I'm going to go over it. And then we have their stats down there. But here we have a picture of Starscream in his robot in jet mode. The nice thing about this is Starscream has articulation in his knees and in his elbows, uh, which is very cool for a Legends figure. We also have landing gear in his uh, very G1-esque jet mode. Again, very, very well done for a, a Legends figure. I'm just really impressed with this guy. And then we've got Waspinator in his robot in his Wasp mode, and his third mode, his triple changer mode, he turns into Starscream's gun, which is a nice gimmick. Not a very good gun, but I guess it works. Now, the one thing that um, kind of stinks is that Waspinator does not have a Predacon logo that I can see on him, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. And the other thing... The eyes, if you look at the eyes, they're flat on the actual figure, but on the back of the packaging, uh, his eyes actually have the, you know, the little grids that he had in the show, which is unfortunate they didn't go there, but it is a Legends figure. So, uh, just to read the back of the package real fast. Uh, though they have never fought side by side, Starscream and Waspinator are intimately familiar with one another. Long after his time had passed, Starscream returned to a cybernetic half-life by possessing the body of a smaller robot. In the guise of Waspinator, the Decepticon Air Commander nearly completed his betrayal of Megatron he had long contemplated. And that harkens back to a Beast Wars episode. Now, in G1, Starscream was destroyed by Galvatron in the movie. And he comes back in a few episodes as a ghost, and Beast Wars kind of plays on that. And uh, they find out his spark is eternal... Uh, it's a mutation. Uh, they play with it with Rampage. But Starscream actually comes back and possesses Waspinator. We even get to see a nod to that in Transformers Animated uh, with the Allspark Crystals in Starscream. But, so Starscream basically takes over Waspinator just like he did Scourge in uh, the uh, G1 series. And the same thing. He tries to take over the Decepticons, or the Predacons in this case and uh, Betray Megatron. So uh, Starscream is Starscream is Starscream. But this is very cool that uh, the first time we see both of these guys together in the same package, and uh, it's an anniversary set that pays homage to both the G1 and the Beast Wars series. So kudos to Hasbro, the project and design team that came up with this idea. I think this is a great fanboy thing. It's a great anniversary piece, and that's why it's going to stay in the package. In addition, there's going to be a Waspinator Generations figure, a uh, deluxe figure that I really want that looks nice. And I'll be getting that to take him out of the package. So, definitely cool. Something's going to hang on my wall. I just really appreciate it, and I thought it was a great 30th anniversary set. So, 
Thanks for watching and look for more videos in the future. Waspinator has plans. Yeah.